We are in Mesquite, Texas. As you look at the grand entry ceremony, we are moments away from the second half of Mesquite Championship Rodeo, the 1994 Mesquite Season Championship. Hello, everyone. Dan Miller along with Don Gay, and this is it. $45,000 in prize money on the line. And, Donnie, let's talk about some of these matchups, starting, of course, with the bull riding. Roger Pack on Dire Straits. Well, we have to start with the bull riding, but, man, this bull is rank, and I don't know if he can ride him. Now, Roger's won here a couple of times. He's been kind of on a roll. He'll need all the help he can get. Ty Schaefer has Mad Dog. Mad Dog, another one of those young bulls my dad's been bringing along. I'm pulling for Ty, but his hands are full also, and don't fall down. This bull will chase you. In the bareback riding, first of all, Lance Crump on bull. Bojangles. National Finals Cowboy and Bucking Horse. This should be a good match. You know, it'll, he'll challenge that leaderboard. Wes Ward has ripcord. Well, w while Wes is going to get a check, we just don't know how deep. In the saddle bronc riding, Gary McDaniel on Roly Roan. Boy, a rank saddle bronc and a rank saddle bronc rider. This guy can ride. Should be good. T.J. Kenny has Cowboy Cadillac. Well, he's won here a couple of times this season, and uh, we're, we're pulling for him. He needs to really hustle up. Remember, we have all three of the timed events coming up for you as well. This is McKee. Mesquite Season Championship. We're ready. Here's Pam. Dan, there is a lot of excitement behind the shoots tonight with the anticipation of tonight's finals. The contestants know the times and the scores they have to beat, and I'll bring you their predictions. Plus, we'll meet tonight's event leaders. Stay right where you are. Mesquite Rodeo Finals Round 2 begins in just a moment. Dodge changed the rules of truck power, the rules of safety, comfort, convenience. And while we were changing those rules, another one changed all by itself. New rule, Dodge pickups now have higher resale than Ford, Chevy, or GMC. Want proof? Check the rule book. The rules have changed. At America's Truck Stop, the new Dodge. gun protectant. Nothing works better on your car's leather, vinyl, and rubber. It can turn just about anything into a great-looking car. Nice car. What, this pile of junk? Give it the gun with Son of a Gun. And now give your tires a quick kick with One Step Tire Care. Welcome back to Mesquite, Texas. Mesquite Championship Rodeo. And Donnie, this is it for the season. We see our current standings in the bareback riding. John Brockway at the top of our leaderboard. 79 points last week on a real nice horse called Dark Canyon. We're gonna start with Benny Joe McCoy, South Haven, Kansas, the 90 season champ here at Mesquite. Now he wants to win the money, the rabbit, national finals bucking horse. Blowed out, got back, stay in there. This horse is tough to ride. Come on, Benny Joe, out of mud. You betcha, what a way to crank him out of there. Oh, he said, I did Man. it. He's a roadie. <laughs> What a way to start things out. You 78 bet. points. Benny Joe McCoy. That a boy wasn't pretty, but neither is Benny Joe. Okay, left foot come out a little suspect on a spur out. Horse jumping, kicking a lot of power right there. Good finish for Benny Joe. 78 points. Romeo's right. up next on half deck, trying to beat 79 points. Rookie of the year in 1992. Twice he's won money. That Mesquite, good draw. Half deck. Round to the left. Bo had a little trouble getting old left to start it. Hanging kind of upside down. Needs to square up. Yep. Second generation cowboy. Good ride. I don't think it'll move Benny Joe or Brockway. Brockway still in the lead from last week with the 79. Benny Joe McCoy with the 78. And this is a score of 76 for Bo Mayo. Pretty tough bareback riding. Good spur out. Now, while he's square, he looks pretty good. Now, see him tipping over yes. to the left. Takes all the pressure off. You see his feet kind of slop and bounce. The right leg really got to bouncing. We're going down to shoot number one, Jerry Paul Turner on Sorrel Top. Now, he's bucked off this horse, this same horse, once this year already. That's probably in his mind right now. Tough to get out on. Good spur out. That a boy, Jerry Paul. Yes. Good jump. Coming around, feet up. Jerry Paul made a pretty good ride. Not gonna change the leaderboard and get them feet down. Here comes the rescue team. 
Jim Gay and old Super just kind of blow right up there. Wow. Yeah. That was a good job of picking up there, Jim Gay. Let's see his score. 74. He's put on a little weight, Dan. That's not good for a bareback rider. Well, he's not anywhere near like Nate Newton in the kitchen. But <laughs> around the left, horse gets to cover in a little bit of ground. Jerry Paul kind of lets him get away with his first toes not turned out. Could have made it prettier. Down to shoot five, Howard Langham on gun smoke. All right, now his best score has been a 67. Howard Langham, veteran cowboy. It's a veteran bucking horse. This horse been the national final 12 times. Howard is having all kinds of trouble. Holy smoke, get your hand out. Oh, no. Man, horse oh, down. Man. Howard, get back on him, Howard. <laughs> Now, he can't get his hand out of there. That'll cost him a $100 fine if the judges think he was on there too tight, taking advantage of the horse. He better not go up there and talk to my daddy. I was going to say, I'd just <laughs> stay right there. For he's a all right. While. The horse looked like he's all right. Howard said, well. Whew. No score after all that. Okay. Now. Old gun smoke coming around saying, okay, I got this guy. Now, why doesn't he buck off? That's because his hand's welded in there for splat. Howard really used some, some heads-up play right there because his yeah. hand was not going to come out of that rig. And check it out again. Now, he just jerks the horse over on top of him. Now, his hand isn't going to come out, and he knows it, so he just vaults back up. You know he don't feel too good. Good move there. Jason Milam. Finish, follow that, will you? He's on rock and roll. Well, he can on this horse. This horse not too smooth. This horse will rock and roll his back like a bull. That a boy, Jason. Come on. Not going to change the leader, boy, but I'm going to tell you, that's a good bareback ride. That horse hard to ride. See how easy Jason got his hand out of that rigging? That's when you have it adjusted properly. Waits for a score, gets 70 points for Jason Milan. Get another angle here. Watch our cameraman show you something. So you want to be a bareback rider, look at the power. With the horse rock and roll his shoulders. Jump kick. Horse weakens a little bit on the wall. Jason Milan made a nice smooth bareback ride. They might have been a little tough on him. He could have been a few more points than 70. 79 still the score to beat as we look at Lance Crump getting set to ride. Pam talked to Lance before the rodeo. Lance, can you win the buckle on Bojangles? Yeah, he's a real good horse. I was glad to have him. I uh, had him at the circuit finals, Texas circuit finals, and I won the round on him there, so I was pretty tickled to have him. National finals bareback rider, national finals bucking horse. The horse has been about 10 times. Lance has been twice. Gonna go again. Look at here. That looks good. Is this right smooth? There. Is this smooth? Wow. Oh, yeah. That ought to change the leaderboard. I'm, I'm real curious to see what the judges do on this one, Don. He's trying to beat 79 points. Remember John Brockway holding on with that score, 78 for well, Lance Crump. I'm going to take exception right here. I wasn't going to drop about a point or two, but I surely am. Two points. He ought to be 80. That's a good one. Both spurs, horse jump kick, 18 horse, 20 ride. Mm -mm -mm. Toes out, looks mighty good. Well, Wes Ward is coming up next. He can change things around here in a hurry. We also talked to him a little bit earlier. Wes, you've drawn Ripcord, too. We just go ahead and write the check. Well, Ripcord's a good horse. He's a money horse. I haven't had him all year. They've won first on him here about three times. I'm real anxious to be to have him at this rodeo. This kind of horse that Wes Ward really might do well on. If Ripcord can have the kind of day he's capable of having, this horse is about 22 years old. Watch this. High jump, get him moving. Get him moving, horse covering some ground, kicking, leaping. Good ride. Now to me, that's a tough one to judge, Donnie, because West was there every jump. Well, we need to be able to see another angle looking head on. We were missing a lot of action. Remember, the judges were down on the ground, not up in the television booth. Don't have- 73 points. Don't have the, the opportunity of slow motion replay and second guessing. Now let's look at the horse. See, not kicking out right. real far behind. Good to spur up there, excellent ride. But you know, when you got good horses out, that horse just right in the middle of the pack. 
Well, let's take a look at our final standings. John Brockway wins it with a 79. Lance Crump and Benny Joe McCoy both tie with scores of 78. Let's take a look at our winning ride here, Donnie, by John Brockway. Dark Canyon, jump and kick, good spur ride. I think John made a good bareback ride from a week ago. Judges made the call. That was the winner, and we'll be back with more action from Mesquite right after this. Why do I think the Whopper beat both the Big Mac and Wendy's single in taste tests? You kidding? The Whopper from Burger King's flame broiled. The others are fried. Let me elaborate. The Whopper tastes like it's hot off the barbecue, and that makes people happy. Man, come on, just talking about a flame broiled Whopper makes me smile. <laughs> think about it. Did you ever see sad people sitting around a barbecue? Never. Come in and ask for the winning Whopper and get it for just 99 cents for a limited time only at Burger King. I thought I was smart. I paid less for another protectant. It said it shined like Armor All, so I figured it protected like Armor All, too. But it didn't. You should see what the sun did to my dashboard. Some bargain. Armor All doesn't just shine. Armor All provides superior protection against car vinyl discoloration. No bargains for this, baby. I'm only using Armor All. Armor All. When it comes to protection, there are no bargains. We are back in Mesquite, Texas, getting set for the steer wrestling, the finals of the steer wrestling. John Fuller, the man that's atop the leaderboard with a five and six. Brad Lesh and Gary Daniel also very much in the hunt. We'd like to invite you to join us right here in Mesquite, Texas for a rodeo live and in person. Well, it's great to sit in the stands and watch a performance of Mesquite Rodeo in person. If you're planning to be in the area, just come out and see what I mean. Call us at 1-800-833-9339 for tickets and information. You'll have a blast. And watch Big Randy Staley live and in person from Boyd, Texas. All right, good steer wrestlers. Best time's been a four and eight. That'll stand good stead right here. Got a good steer drawn black and white spot. Pull him around. Come on, Randy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good guy, Randy Staley. Time. Four and seven. Excellent run. Push the barrier out of the way. Down on the catch. Bring him around. Shaped him perfect. Oh. Airplane him. Out of our Randy. Donnie, he jumps into the lead by almost a full second. Randy Staley. We've got Danny Heron getting set to go next tonight before the rodeo. Pam talked with Dan. Danny, how do you like this Mesquite season finals? I love it. It gives a part-time cowboy like me a good opportunity to run it some good money. I really do like it. I do, too, Donnie. This is a good thing. Well, I, I, I think the Cowboys appreciate it. It's a lot of fun for us, you know, and, and Danny Heron doesn't travel extensively, doesn't get to run it, you know, four or five thousand dollars for four seconds worth of work. Come on, diggin'! Yeah. Put him down. Well, that's a good run, Donnie, and a good time. Five and one, just not good enough to move Randy Staley. Steer broke real hard good catch and then he just put the brakes on cost him a little time right there but being big help byron walker he's been the champion here before 12 times in the national finals world champion come on slide him go to the nose oh no that burn it he said went to the nose and just missed it no time for a former champion of the world byron walker and he's taken more than his share of money out of mesquite this year well, he thinks he's going to get some more right here because he made a pretty long run at him. Seen go to the nose, and it just slipped off. Mm. So close, yet so far. Boy, it can happen quick. Get ready to move the next man, Seagoville, Texas Cowboy Guy Yarborough. Now, this is a guy I'd like to see win something. Now, he just barely does fill out that shirt. Long and lean. Rope cast, steer wrestle, team rope, pick up, man. Come on, Guy, look at here. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hell up, boy, Guy. <laughs> I mean, he went to go to the nose, and I steered and he threw him in the cheat seat. Six of three for Guy Yarborough. <laughs> I mean, I want you to watch this back. Look here now. Okay, it's his daddy Hayden's farm. Reach down, pull him around, go to the nose. <laughs> I mean, he nearly lit up on top of the grandstand. This oh, time God. is six and three, and we're down to one last man. Marvin Dubose. <laughs> okay, now he's been 10 flat to win here once. He's been a five and nine. Good stair wrestler, long run. Slide him around, go to the nose, take the ball. Yes, there you go. 
Didn't take long. Good time for Marvin, 5.5 seconds. All right. Trying to hustle old saw horse up there. Rodney Yarborough hazing for another one coming around. Kind of hang just a little bit. Hell yeah. That's the way to do it. Let's take a look at the final standings. Randy Staley wins at the time, four and seven. Danny Heron behind him and Marvin Dubois comes in third place. Pam Minnick standing by with our winner. Randy Staley had to be faster than 5.2 and with a 4.7 run, I guess you were. Was there any st strategy going into the run tonight? Yeah, that's steer. Everybody's broke out on him a lot, so I had to let him move. It just right to get out or he runs real hard if you're out late. It just worked perfect. Everything couldn't be any better. It did. Congratulations on your win of the Mesquite Rodeo Finals, Randy. Don't go away. There's more exciting action from Mesquite right after this message. Now, for your home and shop, one amazing blade that cuts through practically anything. This is new multi-disc. It's safe, it won't break or shatter. It's amazingly flexible. It will never bind or kick back your work. Multi-disc cuts through this rock-hard ash baseball bat. It cuts through copper and iron pipes. Plastic pipes are cut off clean. There's no melting. Multi-disc is diamond and carbide throughout. As its powerful edge cuts, its sides grind a beautiful burr-free edge. It's one of the best grinding wheels on the market. It shapes tile, grinds away paint, rust, and debris in seconds. Call toll-free or send for multi-disc now and start saving hundreds of dollars on single-purpose blades and wheels. Multi-disc does it all. Stop aggravating blade changes. Use the same multi-disc to do hundreds of jobs. It saves you time and money. Best of all, multi-disc will work on any rotary tool in your home or shop. Put it on your household drill and it cuts like magic. Grind off stripped screws or rusted bolts easily. Multi-disc cuts like a blade and grinds like a wheel. No ordinary blade can do that and you can use it on any rotary tool you own. Compare multi-disc with expensive steel blades for cutting formica. Multi-disc sands while it cuts so there's no chipped edges. Call or send now. Cut perfect angles and grind curves in ceramic tile. This versatile tool cuts picture frame perfect moldings and trim. Hobbyists love it for detailing plastics, metal, and wood. Now you can take care of your own car. Remove all that paint, rust, and excess body filler. Now, in this limited time offer, you get two multi-discs, a universal arbor to assure they'll fit all your rotary tools, and our unconditional money-back guarantee, all for only $12.98. Order now. It's time for this week's secret clue on how to catch the big ones in the TNN Bass Tournament of Champions contest on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. You ready, Sinker? No, I can't find a pencil or paper. Use your depth finder to sound out the fish in the lake. Mind weather conditions. Some lures work better on sunny days, and others work better in the rain. Win great prizes in the TNN Bass Tournament of Champions contest. Watch TNN Outdoors for more details. Found them. We're back in Mesquite, Texas. Dan Miller with Don Gay and Pam Minnick. And while the crowd is being entertained here by some square dancing horseback style, Donnie, let's take a look and a highlight from our PBR bull riding series. All right, we're going to watch Scott Redding tangle with eight ball. Texas Stadium in Irving, Texas, the Battle of the Bulls. And the Cowboys might be winning right here. Scott Redding making an excellent bull ride, and this is for a lot of money right there. 90-point bull ride by Mr. Redding. People doing square dancing on horseback, Donnie, and while they're doing that, let's uh, warm up with another one of your highlights for us. All right, now I've got a little wreck for you here in the saddle bronc riding Denny Dugan on a horse we call Toll Free. You want to call someone who cares? Oh, oh there's flat. One point landing. <laughs> Every season produces a lot of crashes like that, Dan. I put all my favorites on a home video. It's Don Gade's Worst Wrecks at Mesquite Rodeo, 1993. There's also a Best Rides Home video, and here's how to get your copy. Well, you can order Don Gay's 1993 Worst Wrecks or Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. Each has almost one full hour of Mesquite Rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. 
That's $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify worst wrecks or best rides or both. Well, we're looking at Kyle Jumper, who's in the lead, and the calf roping Donnie Gay with Dave Rock and Johnny Hudson right behind him. Calf roping pretty tough to win. Barrier being pulled across. Give the calf a head start. Break the barrier. It's a 10-second penalty. Guy Yarbrough's dusted himself off and ready for the calf roping. You can see he's been 9-3 before, so you know he wants to do it again. Saw him earlier in the steer race and reach out. There's a the catch. Down the rope. Come on, guy. Bring the front leg back to come up. Calf kind of kick a little, a stumble, a fumble. Another one. He got it done. Oh, he's disappointed. He is, but he had a, a good run going. Guy Yarbrough, let's see the time, 11.7. Well, he knows he could have been, you know, a long nine if things had just been smooth. Calf roping, as I started to say earlier, hardest event in rodeo to win because there's so many things has to work together. You, your horse, your ropes, you got a pig and string. The calf's got to lay still and not kick you. Reach out and make it be smooth. He's had a couple of bobbles. His time again is 11 and 7. 9 and 2 is the time to beat. They stretch the barrier across there. We get set for Bud Ford coming up next. We talked to Bud before the rodeo. Bud, a 9-2 is winning the calf rope. And can you beat that with the calf you've drawn? Uh, it'd be very hard. I got one the fast single tied at 16. So I'm going to try. Well, you know, when the fastest they've tied this calf 16, you got nothing to lose. Reach and get it out of your hand. Good catch. Good Come on, catch. Bud. Nobody's tied this calf faster than 16 seconds. Ran back to meet him at the rope. Bring him time. Yeah, wow. How about that if he stays tied? Took two wraps, and we'll have to see. Kind of got that Michael Jordan effect there as he walks back and gets on the horse with his tongue. Ten and one the time. Trying to make that calf stay still because he only took one wrap a half hitch. Now calf really beat him out of the corner. Brings him one wrap, the half hitch, and hopes. And hopes. Fast hands for Bud Ford. The time 10 and 1, and it will hold. 9 and 2 is still our time to beat. Bodie Reed from Aubrey, Texas. He's up next. All right, now, Bodie Reed getting set. Reach out there. Got a hard running calf. Come on now. Pull. Oh. Time up. Whoops. Take a look at the clock. The time is 12 and 5. Donnie, is this an unusually small loop he's got here? I don't think I don't think it fed whenever he first swung it. Just kind of a kind of a mistake the cowboy made. Horse looked like working fairly good. Cowboy just needs a little more lead in his bridges to get that calf down a little quicker. Yeah. Big calf. Regroups his rope, and we get set to move to the next man. A cowboy comes from Texarkana, Texas. Pete Pessel. Okay, now he's placed here once with a 10 and 8. Speed that up just a little bit. Reach out there, the catch. Down the rope. Uh-oh, calf kind of gets some slack up in the rope, knows the drill. Pete's Whoa, having trouble. Pete. He's saying, all right, horse, give me a hand here. <laughs> Come on, horse, give me a hand here. Okay, sometimes you just have to do it yourself. And the calf just not going to let up. Going to strain. There's the tie. You got a good picture of that. That's hog tied. A little, uh, a little slow though. Beats credit. He hangs in there and gets the job done. Takes a while. 23 and four. Got a good start. Down the rope in good, good shape. But that calf just comes back to meet him. Then the horse can't get backed up enough to keep the slack out of the rope. I mean, this is one, though, that, that, that we might have thought we might see in the steer wrestling. This is just kind of a wrestling match right here. Long Very drive terrible. back to Texarkana. Hmm. And that was 23 and 4. Two calf ropers left to go, and the next one comes from Denton, Texas. You're looking at John Hancock trying to beat 9 and 2. Well... He doesn't win anything here. You could always try insurance. Okay. The name like it. Come on, John. Pull hard. Bring the front leg and bring the back ones up. 
No, Whoa. no, that, that's not how it works in a practice pen. He said, I can't believe yeah. it happened to me tonight. Yeah. 12 and 9, time for John. That could have been a, a real quick nine-second run right there. I mean, he reaches out, and he throws this rope a long way. And he's down there in a jiffy. That's down, that's strung. I mean, now, now the tie, I mean, yeah. this, they practice tying hours and hours and hours. And I know he's got to be disgusted. And of all times for that to happen, when a lot of money is on the line here in Mesquite, Texas, last man up is Johnny Emmons. The time to beat is 9.2 seconds. 28th in the world last year, two-time season champion here at Mesquite. Reach out there, there's Catch. Nice horse, Johnny Emmons riding now. Get him around there, Calf kind of got inside him a little, watch the tie, smooth hand. Yes. That's the way to do it. That's when the money's up. Not fast enough though, Donnie, the time nine and seven for Johnny Emmons. That'll get him in the money. You see him over it, whip his horse, his horse kind of stalled in the shoot with him. Didn't come out, he just spanks him and then rope the calf. If I'd have done that, I'd have roped myself. All right, reach out, no, look at that tie. Take a look, Donnie, at our final standings here in the calf roping. Kyle Jumper, his time holds up nine and two. He wins a Dave Brock with a nine and three, and Johnny Emmons comes in third place. Donnie, let's take one more look at the winning run by Kyle Jumper. Okay, now he reaches out there and just does it smooth. Remember I said smooth at the top of the show. He didn't really try to make a quick throw. Brings him up, smooth, no fumbles. That man got all the money. We'll be back with Saddle Bronc riding right after this. Now at Pimp Boys, get any four of our 35,000-mile all-season steel-belted tires at an incredible low $99.96. That's right, any size, any set of four, just $99.96 at Pimp Boys now. 49 cents, not a lot to pay for quality. Now at Pep Boys, Champion Spark Plugs just 49 cents after mail-in rebate. That's right, Champion Plugs just 49 cents at Pep Boys now. At Stanley, we test the quality of our sliding mirror doors by opening and closing them over 100,000 times. This doesn't make for great entertainment, but it does make a great closet door. The Accent Mirror Door from Stanley. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. I use Skin Bracer. It smells great. But it also cools and tones my skin. Confidence is very sexy. Don't you think? Original and cooling blue. By men and... He sees what they see. He knows what they know. Some say he's even got a tiny set of gills. Fishing with Orlando Wilson, today on TNN Outdoors. You'll find showers of savings at Surefine and an exciting enter-to-win contest for tickets to Buck Motorsports. This week, Wampler Longacre Premium Skinless Turkey Breast, $2.49 a pound. 64-ounce Tropicana Pure Premium Orange Juice, $1.99. Turkey Hill Ice Cream, Light Ice Milk, or Frozen Yogurt, two half gallons, just $5. Klondike Bars, a six-pack, only $2.39. 10-ounce Cheerios, just $1.99. And be sure and enter to win tickets to Buck Motorsports Park. Get details at Surefine. Ten dollars down. Ten dollars a month. At Viseras Furniture, ten bucks is all it takes. Only at Viseras, buy one piece. Buy a room full. Buy a house full of furniture. For just ten dollars down. And ten dollars a month. Buy furniture, recliners, mattresses, and more. Get anything, get everything you need. For just ten dollars down. And ten dollars a month. Plus, there's more. Your furniture is interest-free for one full year. So get to Viseras Furniture now. And get all the furniture you need. For just ten dollars down. And ten dollars a month. Welcome back to Mesquite, Texas, and we're getting set for the Saddle Bronc riding. You see Charles Swallow, the man to beat with 79 points. Tom Brown and Eric Totten also very much in the hunt here, Donnie Gay. While we've got just a break in the action, we'd like to invite you to join us here at Mesquite, Texas. Well, if you're going to be in the Dallas area, plan to attend a performance at Mesquite Championship Rodeo, call us at 1-800-833-9339. For information and reservations, I guarantee you'll have a ball. And you'll watch Jimmy McCarley on a horse like Lonesome. This could be good. This is the one Jimmy McCarley wanted. Spur out. Body position. Oh, no. Throwing her head up. Now back in tune. Slopping a little bit. Didn't work like Jimmy wanted it. That is supposed to finish. It needed to start like that. A little out of time, out of kilter. 
Jimmy waits for his score, and it's a 72. Now watch this. Now, hold your feet in him. Take him out now. See her throw her head up? She just kind of jerked and jobbed right there. That's not a normal characteristic from Lonesome. She just said, hey, all this money up, I'm going to do something a little different. Cause Jimmy McCarley a little difficult. Thinking about that score of 72, 79, still holding the first place. Jim Blaine, Jim Blaine Kenny on cat. Salt Flat, Texas. It's some wild western country if you've ever seen Salt Flat, Texas. Come on, Jim Blaine. <laughs> Got a good one started right here. Horse right around the post. Fast feet. Good bronc ride. Jim Blaine. Starting to ride well at the end of the season. A good time to start doing it. Money's up. Starting to get aggressive. And he was going for it. Let's see his score. Going to give him a 73. Jim Blaine Kenny. Watch the horse right around the post. Boom. They tried to wave some chaps. The horse to scare him off there. Took him a little bit to get going. Now remember, your feet got to get over the point of the shoulders before the judges really begin to get excited. See, so he's got fast feet. He's being aggressive. He's trying to keep up. Right foot getting there, left foot a little short. This is Wade Hebb from Kaufman, Texas, Miles City. Two times, horse. two times he's won here this year. 92 season champ. Good bucking horse right here. National finals horse. Come on, Wade. Wade snapping his feet. Get him up. Come on, get over the point. Get that left one same way as the right one. He finished pretty strong, Donnie, right in front of the judges. And your dad, keeping a good eye on him. <laughs> Guy Yarbrough getting a little bit of a workout. He's uh, joined in picking up duties also. 76 for Wade Hebb. Good spur out. Horse kind of jerked him back. And the right foot doing real well. Over the shoulders, left foot a little short. See it? See the difference? Right there, that cost him a couple of points. Looking at Gary McDaniel getting set to ride next. Before the rodeo this evening, Pam had a chance to talk with Gary. Gary, 79 points is winning the Bronc ride, and can you beat that on Rolly Roan? Well, I hope I can. I sure probably got the horse to do it on if anybody does. She really bucks. I've had her twice before and got along real well both times, and she was the one I wanted here. This guy's a cowboy. Southland, Wyoming. Living in Texas now. Come on, Gary, ride this fucking horse. Watch this horse go to drop it. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary, keep reaching. Keep reaching. Blind dismount. Leaderboard change the whole nine yards. Left foot doing a little better than the right foot. I was going to say, Donnie, 83 points. Wow. I'm going to show my ignorance because that right foot wasn't doing a whole lot. Remember which way that horse is circling yeah. out there, deep middle. Right. The right side judge is not going to be able to see that. This veteran move right here. Watch this. Good spur out. Judge is following, trying to see. See the right foot held? Now, the judge is give up by now and watching the left side. Tough horse. That's not too bad. 83 points. He's our new leader, Gary McDaniel. To get ready to go to shoot number six for the next Cowboy, Jason Milam, on Comstock Lowe. Two times he's won here. Says, let's go. We saw Jason earlier in the bareback ride. Let's see if he can get a check to Bronx. Whoa, is it, he's behind. Having a little trouble right there now. His horse trying to buck him off. Just like that Rolly Roan horse. I think you need to get some points for horses that guys... Just horse. don't ride. I mean, you know, you can't be pretty on these kind of horses. That's really tough. He's, he's trying to be 83, 10 points behind that with a 73. Kind of shaking his yeah. head. He just, you know, you'd, you'd like to draw something a little bit smoother. See this horse duck, move, quick, coming around. I mean, now that horse hard to ride. Tom Stock low. Certainly was a low this evening. 83 the score to beat. This is Joe Belcom on Crazy Snip. Now Joe's got one of those kind of horses that you like to draw because he's smooth, gives you a chance to turn your toes out, make that classic cornerstone bronc ride. Toes out, body position, jump and kick. Now, anybody can tell that that horse wasn't as hard to ride as the last one. Right. 
but they're looking at the Spurs. Whether that's right or wrong, I'm not going to debate it, but hey, watch the score. Look. 78 points for Joe Belkin. See, I, I disagree with that myself personally, but that's the way it's done. And Joe, he's trying to get everything going. He knows if he can keep his feet moving, keep the judges watching him instead of the horse, it's going to help. Body position kind of moving around. Good job by Joe Belkin. Looking at T.J. Kenny getting set to ride next. He's drawn Cowboy Cadillac. Tonight before the rodeo started, Pam had a chance to talk with T.J. T.J., what do you know about Cowboy Cadillac? Uh, well, I heard he's a pretty nice little horse. It's a stud, I believe, and uh, he came from out in California, and he's just supposed to be a real nice little horse. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Okay, well, he missed the, 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 the map just a little bit. Canada, not California. Look at those feather feet. Jump kick out of all TJ. Whoa, TJ. Little tall on the saddle. Lost a hole. Another one of those pretty tough bronc rides. It wasn't pretty, but now for six seconds, that horse is really bucking good. TJ about got bucked off. Shows some ability to just stay in the buggy. 72 points for TJ Kenny. Watch his horse kick. Good spur out. See, he's quick. TJ just got behind and like to buck him off. Makes the whistle. And that will do it for the saddle bronc riding. Gary McDaniel wins it with that 83. Charles Swallow comes in second in a tie for third. Tom Brown and Joe Belkin both with 78. Pam Minnick standing by with our winner. A great ride in the Bronx riding Gary McDaniel. You told me that Rolly Roan was the horse you wanted, but she tried you a little bit. Yeah, she had me up out of there most of the way, but she's really good and keeps getting back under you, bucking, and that's the kind you win on everywhere. Did you ever feel like you were in trouble, though, during the ride? Well, not real bad trouble. I've always been that way, kind of, and uh, I didn't think she was going to buck me off, no. It was an outstanding ride, 83 points. Congratulations on your win in the Mesquite Finals. Don't go away, there's more exciting action from Mesquite right after this. Dad? Yeah? There's uh, something I want to tell you. What is it, son? Well, Dad, you're my dad. And I love you, man. You're not getting my Bud Light, Johnny. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Ray, forget it, Johnny. We're practicing for the big TNN Bass Tournament of Champions Contest on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. This is going right to Sheller Weed. Watch TNN Outdoors on Saturday for secret clues on how to win a tracker nitro boat, a Team Iowa reel, a Loran sonar, or gift certificates from Bass Pro Shop. Whoa, got one! <laughs> TNN Bass Tournament of Champions Contest ends May 15, 1995. Get your Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis game and get ready to win like the pros. Reckon we can win a new TV? Welcome back to Mesquite, Texas. Dan Miller along with Don Gay and Pam Minnick and getting set for the girls barrel racing. Joanne Middleton, a lady to beat a good time, Donnie, 15 and 92. Excellent run. We've got some good ones up tonight. Here's one up. Kay Blanford, Stockdale, Texas. Now she's run a, seven, a 15 78. She's looking to beat a 15 92. Come on, Katie did. Bring him around. You bet this gal, she can ride him. Yes. Kay Blanford, let's take a look at the time. 16.11 for Kay Blanford. 15.92 still holding on to first. Next cowgirl comes from Oklahoma, Becky Bradley. Rodeo family husband, world champion, steer wrestler Rick Bradley. Becky Bradley, she's running a 15.97. Come on now, Becky, bring him to the house. Got out Whoa. wide, oh, way wide on that last turn. Horse running hard, that's too bad. Look at the really time. 16 and 11. You have to think what might have been, Donnie, if she'd have pulled that around on the third turn. Becky Bradley. Kelly Moss is up next. All right, now she's won here twice. A 1564, if you can believe that. Little ball face horse. Two good turns. 
Coming out, another wide break. Wow. I don't understand it. Well, it's been a while since we've seen that. Two of them in a row, really swinging wide. How about these times? 216, 11, 116, 12. That's unusual. Hundreds of a second. We have one more cowgirl up. It's Donna Kennedy from Evan, Texas, trying to beat 1592. The 91 rookie of the year, two times to the national finals. Come on, Donna. Good turn. She's a cowgirl. Horse kind of breaking inside. She's having to push him outside. That cost a little time. Did that on every barrel. Let's take a look at the time for Donna Kennedy. 16.14 seconds. And let's take a look at our final standings. Joanne Middleton. Hangs on, wins it with a great time, 1592. Kay Blanford, Becky Bradley, and Laura Angel all tie for second place. Donnie, let's take a look at Joanne Middleton's winning run. All right, now the little black horse really covering some ground. Got real quick feet. Gets out of that first barrel in good shape and around the second one. Now, I thought that cost her some time. See how wide she goes? Yeah. But look at the ground. She's staying out of the deep ground and brings it around that third barrel. I think she had a lot to do with it, not just her horse. Great run. And again, her winning time was 15.92. Kevin James, the man at the top of the board in the bull riding with an 80-point ride. Listen, in case you missed out on how to order Don Gay's worst wrecks or best rides at the Speed Rodeo, the 1993 versions, just call 1-800-331-1000 or write Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. And it all comes down to this now in the bull riding, Donnie Gay. Bullfighters are ready to go. They're talking themselves into it. And they're looking at Joe Wimberly on Flying W. Good bull right here. Should go a couple of jumps and into the left. Five-time national finalist. Bounty bull winner. Come on, Jolton. Joe. Oh, no. Oh, Lost man. the bull rope. Slammed up. Look out. Oh. I mean, like a frog on a bug out there. Watch out. Flying W. Old Flying W had a shot at Joe right then. Boy, He's no a score. Really good bull. Now watch this. Around the left, pops that rope out of there, right on his back, solid. That is bidding his horned in on. And we start off with a no score for Joe and get set to move to the next cowboy from Malakoff, Texas, Kelly Holt. Texas twist. One here once this year. Come on, Kelly, now. Stay tight. Jump kick. Starts around the left, now back right. Come on, Kelly. Get over there, get over there, get over there, get over, yeah! Okay! Good job. You betcha, good job. Good job. Nice bull, nice bull ride. Kelly Holt with just all kinds of try, gets rewarded 76 points for his effort. I believe that moves him into a tie for about second place. Right. Jump and kick, jump and kick, starts left. Now back right, now. Doesn't panic, just keeps raising his elbow up, getting his body over there. In control, good getaway. Bullfighters made good moves. 80 points still holding on to first place for Kevin James. A good look at the bull bounty hunter, Shane Yates, the cowboy on his back. Trying to get to, to push him off his leg. He's laying on the gate, hand down on the side. If he goes left, Shane may be in trouble. See the bull kind of standing crooked? That's a young bull rider mistake. Wow. Round to the left, he's in trouble. I saw that coming. I was going to say. I recognized that bull. I knew he shouldn't have nodded. No score for Shane Yates. And you could see that one coming, Bonnie. Well, you know, the, the way the bulls... Now, watch this when he... See his hand now? Look at it right now. See how far down on the yep. side it is? There's no way you're going to make a turn on a bull that's really bucking. That bull had a good hard turn to the left. Frank McIlvain Sr. Well, he's been there more times than anybody else I know of. There's Anthony Moore. Youngster proving his mettle here at Mesquite all year long. John Hunt, another good bullfighter. The guys are in pretty good hands. Herman Younger, professional rodeo judge. His partner in crime this week, Ronnie Ray. Got the stopwatches in their hand as they look at Sparky Smith, the stop of the bull. I like this little bull right here. He's kind of quick. Sparky, he's kind of quick himself. Let's get him rode. Starts around the left. Got a good seat. That a boy, Sparky. Free hand in front. That looks good. That's going down in the well. Got in there too far. 
Better get up, old Mustafa. He'll come chase you. Play pitch and catch with your W. No score for Sparky Smith, and Anthony Moore was right in the mix. He made a nice save. John Hunt as well. Now, I'm not sure why he went down in the well unless he just loses a hole with it because everything's square. Looking good. Right foot. I don't know. Guys. I'm not real sure. I, you know, I, I think he just kind of stiffened up a little bit. John Hunt throws his hat in there and distracted that bull. Good, good effort there. Roger Pack is coming up next. We talked to him a little bit earlier. Roger, are you ready for this Mesquite Finals? I'm ready. There's uh, a lot of money added, a lot of good cowboys, and it looks like it's going to be a good time. Veteran bull rider. In our straights, it's a veteran bull. National Finals bull, Roger Pack. He knows what the deal is. Going to go to the left, right in the gate. Stay up. Stay square, Roger. That a boy. That a boy. Stay up, boy. Come on, Roger. Come on, on. Oh, this bull will get you, Roger. Come out of that rope. Had another good one start. That's two, two good bull rides started, the last two, and no score for Roger. And they just go down in the well, and I think what happens is they get to thinking, you know, a conscious thought instead of just a reaction, because that was a good veteran move. Now, he just tightens up, drops down. Lucky to get loose. Anthony Moore right there in good position. John Hunt, the bull fighters are doing a great job. We talked about this matchup before the rodeo started. Ty Schaefer on Mad Dog. Twice he's won here this year. This bull kind of hops and skips, ties into his hand right there. Bull usually goes to the right. Now he's going left. Ties in, in trouble, and he slapped the bull, he, and he shouldn't have done it. Oh, Ty. I mean, we've only got three guys made the whistle. No score for Ty Schaefer. He's the dog, man. He wants to watch it back. He's he trying to say, I, I didn't slap that bull. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. okay. He makes a good recovery right he sure here. Did. Been practicing. Now he just tightens up and, he, you know, he just quits trying to ride and his hand just automatically comes down. You know, dumb move. That gum I was pulling for a good guy. That's Cowabunga you're looking at there, and that's Rafael Mosquito on his back from right here in Mesquite, Texas. Stay in the middle. We've been seeing old Ralphie boy a lot of times. Come on, Ralph. Stay in the middle. Don't panic. Whoop. Now, Donnie, that Ralph was looking at the ground and ended up there. No score. Well, I mean, you know, he can he can look up at the look at old Cowabunga. He always makes a circle around the ring to show everybody how pretty he is. We'll watch him go out now. I want you to watch Ralph's head. He's looking at his head right now. Now see him look out. He's looking right at the ground. You know, and and you know, and I've talked to Ralph about it. He doesn't think he's looking at the ground. Well, I beg the difference. Tom Messick's the last man up. He's on crossroads two. This is a good young bull. Second generation bull. Wow. Now he hit himself. Oh boy, that had to hurt the bull a little bit. Tom's in good shape. Now he's out of shape. That is the mark of a good bull. Oh. This bull's daddy, Crossroads. Four-time national finals bull, Tom Messick down from the younger generation. Now the bull jumps out of there, supposed to clear the gate, but he hit himself. All right, now he, got, he gives himself some room, then goes on, continues to buck. He's down. Little bull likes to buck, no score for Tom. Let's take a look at our final standings. Kevin James wins at 80-point ride. Yancey James and Kelly Holt tied for second the scores of 76. And Donnie, let's take one more look at the winning ride by Kevin James. All right, on a bull called Double Vision, fakes to the right. Kevin doesn't panic, stays square, shoulder square, outside foot coming, spurring, getting Holt, chin tuck, bull riders take note. That's how you get the big money. Find you a good spot to get down, he'll spend it, spend it well. He was the winner. We'll recap all the winners here in Mesquite when we come back. One of these hammers is jacketed in high-impact polycarbonate. The other one is broken. The fiberglass jacketed hammer from Stanley. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. I use Skin Bracer. It smells great. But it also cools and tones my skin. Confidence is very sexy. Don't you think? Original and cooling blue. By Menon. 
live NASCAR action on TNN Motorsports. It doesn't get any closer. Oh yeah, what's this? Miller Genuine Draft presents the win with a driver sweepstakes. Second out. You could win a trip for two to one of these Winston Cup races covered live by TNN Motorsports. Be part of the action. Meet Rusty Wallace. Tour the pits with the Penske Miller Genuine Draft race team. And if Rusty wins the race, you win $5,000. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to this address. And remember, there's seven races, so you've got seven chances to win. Get your entry in by May 5th and tune in to race day, May 14th, to find out if you're going to the Winston Select. If you don't win this time, your entry is still eligible for the next drawing. See you at the track. Brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, Split Fire Spark Plugs, and Purolator. Tonight on TNN Outdoors, on Fishing with Orlando Wilson, Orlando reveals the secrets to really big bass. On Fishing with Roland Martin, Roland reels in the best angling action from Miami to Michigan. On Bassmasters, Ray Scott hosts top tournament competition where it's a test for the best. And on The Great American Outdoors, if you're looking for adventure, Ron Shearer's got it. Catch all the action tonight on TNN Outdoors. Well, the crowd makes their way towards the exits here after the season finale in Mesquite, Texas. And let's talk about the people taking home the money from this rodeo. In the bareback riding, John Brockway wins at 79-point ride. Don't well, you? he held on, and, and, and we thought maybe he might. Lance Crump, uh, we saw him tonight make a good run at it, 78 points, tied for second with Benny Joe McCoy. And in the steer wrestling, Randy Staley wins it four and seven. The time. I mean, just changed the leaderboard standings. Randy Staley four and seven. Danny Heron wins second. And Marvin Dubose third. And in the calf roping, Kyle Jumper hangs on the winning time nine and two. It doesn't get a whole lot faster than that, nor better. Second place was a nine and three by world champion Dave Brock, and third Johnny Emmons. And in the saddle bronc riding, great saddle bronc riding, Gary McDaniel wins at 83-point ride. National finals, bucking horse Dan Roley Roan really had her day, and Gary McDaniel's had his great bronc riding. He really made a good ride, best bronc riding I've seen here in a couple of years. Second place, Charles Swallow, a tie for third with Tom Brown and Joe Belkin. And in the girls' barrel racing, Joanne Middleton, the winning time is 15-92. and 15-92 is a blazing run. Kay Blanford wins second, tied for second with Becky Bradley with 16.11. And in the bull riding, Kevin James hangs on, wins at 80-point ride. He made a good ride on double vision. He, you know, the standings were there. Yancey James, 76, and Kelly Holt, a 76. The Bulls had their way. That's going to do it for us, for Pam, Donnie, and myself. We thank you for joining us. See you next week. Everybody.